Hey, good morning. Matthew Atkins here, Senior Financial Advisor with Clearbrook Investment Management and also National Social Security Advisor Certificate Holder. Hey, we're going to be short and sweet this week because uh, making a big pitch for what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to be interviewing Ben Selleck. He's the founder of Clearbrook Investment Management, and we're going to be talking about some of the ways that we understand value when it comes to investment opportunities. A lot of investment firms and a lot of the big wirehouses and things like that are really just one-trick ponies. They take your money and they put it in some blend of U.S. stocks and U.S. bonds, whether they're bond funds or individual bonds or uh, stock funds or individual stocks. That's what they do. And uh, if you're looking for price, you know, people are being uh, bought into this whole Fidelity Zero, uh, you know, dollar trade costs and Schwab's doing zero dollar trade costs, but is that really what value is all about? You see, value has to do with not just price, what you get things for, but it also has to do with opportunity, service, um, uh, creative thinking, all kinds of different things. There's this wonderful uh, video store here on the West Coast, it's called Video Only, and their whole slogan is they want you to go competitively shop, and their thing is Go look around, compare us with other people, but if you don't shop at video only, you'll be sorry. That's their ads that play all over the radio. The amazing thing is, is that they don't even allow you to shop online. There's no online shopping. But here's the crazy thing, they deliver. They deliver not just on price, but they deliver on value. They deliver with quality products, great technicians, fantastic service, and if you will come into one of their stores, you're likely going to come back to them over and over and over again. They simply deliver. Now that's value. And when we think about investing, we're not just thinking about kind of, uh, should we go out and buy a blend of U.S. stocks, stock funds, or bonds and bond funds. Um, that's one way to approach it. There's another whole way to approach it, which is has to do with value. Is there not just price but opportunity? Is there some growth not just that's happened in the past but what could happen in the future? You see, every time you buy a stock or a stock fund, you're buying a future cash flow, not a past performance. No matter what that company's done in the past, they may be really, really strong financially. But what you're buying when you buy into that fund is you're buying a future cash flow, a future growth opportunity. And that future growth opportunity uh, may not be best at a time when everything's at an all-time high. And here in the U.S. right now in the markets, we are literally hearing hitting one high after another. So is that the best time to buy into the U.S. market? We'd like to talk to you more about that. And uh, we have a great podcast. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, not of us. It's of somebody else. It's a little bit technical. But if you'd like to have a link to that podcast, just shoot me a message, like this video, share it with somebody else, and I'll send you the link to that podcast. We found it to be incredibly uh, educational, and it definitely fits in line with kind of how we view investing. I look forward to talking to you in the next couple of weeks. I hope you'll tune in. It's going to be really interesting having you been with us. So I uh, hope you have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.